Yo, welcome yet again. You thought I forgot. You thought I moved on. You thought I had evolved, had grown, had, had simply progressed to another stage of my life. Wrong! It's another figure update. I would never forget and I would never forgive. This is the October 2018 edition where I'm going to show you some of the figures that I've gotten over the past. When was the last time I did one? Did I do one for September? I don't even remember that. We're doing this real, like, loose style. You know, the thing is, is life gets ahead of you sometimes. I've been real lacking on this channel lately just because, you know, there's stuff with business and stuff with life that just, you know, they just build to a point that, like, you want to shoot something, you want to do something on your on your own personal YouTube channel just for your own passion, but things just build to a point where it becomes so much anxiety about it that you can't even get back into the headspace that you were at. You know what I mean? So it's hard. Like, can I even get in front of the camera and talk about these wonderful toys? Where does he get these wonderful toys? The Joker. So, uh, you know, it's hard sometimes, but you got to jump back on the horse, which is what I'm doing right now. And that's why I'm doing it real loose style. No, no, I'm not setting up a fancy three, three, uh, light, you know, three, what is it? Three point lighting. I ain't doing that. We're setting up the phone. Actually, I did adjust the lighting in here a little bit. You see that, like that purple, like it kind of like bounces off my forehead. It's got that Blade Runner effect, you know? So you probably, when you turn this on, you probably thought it was Blade Runner, um, 2049, you probably were like, who's this Ryan Gosling ass looking dude? And it's not, it's me, Rocco. Anyway, so we're going to get to some of the figures that I'm going to show. It, it's, uh, so far, it's telling me we're at the two minute mark. I'm going to see how long I can talk before I get to the figures. I was just looking at my face because there's a lot of detail. I'm just shooting this on my phone, but I'm seeing a lot of detail, which is good. But I'm looking at like this part of my face right here has like, there's like, oh, you can kind of see it a little bit of like, like this, there's a little bit of scarring on this face. For, this is from like, I've had this my whole life, but uh, my face is, was kind of like altered right here because um, when I was younger, I ran to jump in, I, like I was going to bed and I had a, uh, I turned the light off. And then ran and jumped into bed just because you know you're a kid and it's fun. But um, I missed the bed and face first into into my desk, just boom. And um, I had this swollen ass mouth for like a year, like well not a year, but it it was really really bad, and I still have scarring from that. So I'm just I'm didn't, I'm noticing I haven't noticed that in a while. Okay, now that we're at the three minute mark, it's time to get to these figures. Okay. Uh, well, I haven't, I'll tell you right now, I haven't done an update since, um, I went to the Power Morphicon event, which was all Power Rangers related. I'm sure you were there. Uh, anybody who, anybody who's hot was there, you know, just like me, we were among my people. Um, but anyway, they had, they did have, they had an impressive show floor this year. I have to say they actually had a lot of stuff. And so it wasn't even Power Rangers stuff that I got. So I'm going to start off. Well, actually, let's show. There is. They had a big exclusive. And their big exclusive was. I'm going to start with this. Was the Power Rangers Lord Dracon. This was the big Power Morphicon exclusive. You could see that on the logo right there. Um, but anyway, uh, this is a character that is kind of. Uh, Basically, he's from the new comic that's been happening, which has been excellent. The 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 new Power Rangers comic has been excellent. And I I I, can't, I honestly can't believe it. Usually, licensed comics like that to me are just not very good. But this has been great. Um, he is. It's like Tom, it's like an alternate universe evil Tommy, basically. Um, and you can see he's kind of like his powers are kind of like hybridized green and white ranger. But anyway. Pretty cool. The packaging is badass. Um, comes in this kind of slip cover, and then you pop it out, and then the regular, like, figure packaging is in there. I thought that was pretty cool. Look at that. Ooh. Very nice exclusive. I was, I was surprised they, they had, you know, 
not that that their con is 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 puny, but it's a, it's smaller compared to a, a lot of other cons, and I've never seen exclusives this good at a smaller con like that. So I was I was pretty impressed. Uh, from uh, I actually this is a rare territory where I actually did buy two. So I have this one, and then um, I took one out of the box, and I'll show you. And one thing I thought that was really cool was that the convention, uh, like these were made by Bandai, obviously, and I think I think. I think these are the last uh, Power... I think this is technically the last new Power Rangers figure that Bandai America is going to make. Because they, if you didn't know, lost the license to Hasbro. Hasbro is now making all the shit. But, um, yeah, so that's technically the last new thing. I think there's some other stuff coming out that have been announced before, but that's technically it. But what I thought was cool was that the convention themselves thought, you know, this guy, this character, he sits on a throne like that. I wish we had a throne. And so they, not Bandai, just the convention itself, had uh, somebody sculpt, uh, <clears throat> pardon me, sculpt a throne uh, and make him out of, like, stone resin, or I don't know what the hell it's made out of, actually. But, but I have the figure out of the box here, and look, they actually made a throne. This was just done by the convention, and they made a certain amount of them, and it's, I don't know what material you would call that, honestly. its It, it feels like stone. It's obviously not, but but uh, they did a great job. That throne looks great, and so I put the figure in the throne like a pimp, you know, like he should be sitting there, you know, he's got Saba, you know, whatever. But anyway, um, now what's cracking me up is that, uh, well, <sighs> It shouldn't, uh, it's, it's it's messed up, but it's funny. Uh, the convention apparently pre-sold. You could actually buy a non-attending badge for the convention. And uh, the purpose of that being that they send you like the swag bag and all that stuff. And if you did that, you could apply, you could um, order a Lord Dracon figure, like as many of them as you wanted. Um, and they'll just send them to you after the con. So you actually could pre-order those online if you wanted to. Uh, I thought they handled the the conventions or the the, the exclusives really well because when I got my badge, it, it, they put a checklist like, "Hey, all right, what do you want to get? Um, okay, two Lord Dracons and a throne, and a, you know, and then you would pick it up just at the show. They had it waiting for you. Um, well. Apparently, they sold a ton of those. Like, just aside from the reserved ones, they sold a bunch of extra ones at the con of the Lord Dracon figure. And uh, when they got back, found out that they had sold off all the ones that had been pre-ordered by people online. There was a computer error. So, all like, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people aren't going to get theirs. Because they were letting people buy multiple, and even if they didn't reserve them and stuff like that, I was just like, oh my god. So, yeah, there are a lot of pissed off people right now. So, I'm sorry, I did get two, I did it fair and square, but maybe I'll find a way to get the second one to somebody who didn't get one. Gotta be fair. Firm, but fair. Okay. Um, This next one, I also got this in Morphicon, but it's not, it's not a ranger. Wait, let's just get this out of the way. This was the exclusive, the other exclusive that they had. They did a black and gold Megazord. This is an exclusive too, a, a black and gold like Megazord pop, which I, I think the the Mecha figures within the Funko situation are not too bad looking. I think if you didn't know that was a Funko pop, it would just look like a weird vinyl figure. The Rangers are ugly. I don't, I don't get any of those. Alpha did not look bad, and I, I, I like the mechs, personally. I know people are going to talk some shit, but I like that one. And then the other one they had there, I guess this is a Hot Topic exclusive, but I don't want to fucking troll around Hot Topics to find this, so I just bought it there and paid out the ass, was um, the White Tiger Zord. Because you I really wanted this because you never see... Not that often you never see merchandise of the like warrior mode like like white tiger zord like as a as a fucking man you know like a you know warrior mode whatever you call it uh so I was into that uh I had to get that uh hot topic sorry I didn't set foot in your store but um some dude 
made a few bucks off me. I just didn't want to go looking for it. Anyway, um, I'm 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 lazy with figure collecting. I just do not want to drive from store to store. Like, just tell me where the fucking thing is and I'll buy it. Like that. Whatever. Anyway, this I bought at the convention too. It's not a Ranger, but oh my god, SH Figuarts. It's out of the box. Majin Buu. Look at. I was blown away how big this figure is. And of course, it's figure art, so it's completely posable. He has a bunch of different heads, too, and I don't have them here, but um, it uh, it came with, like, he's got, like, a chocolate bar to eat and, like, a, an angry face and a whole bunch of stuff. But, man, they it, absolutely huge. And check this out, posable cape, so you can kind of, like, making him sway. You know, you're making him, like, blow in the wind. Like a candle in the wind, rest in peace, Diana. Um, but there you go, you know. And just for comparison, I got your standard Goku here, Super Saiyan Goku. Uh, just the scale, they actually, this is what I love about figure arts, is they do everything to actual scale. I mean, my God, look at that. I did not expect him to be that big, but with that became, it came a price tag because he's a lot more expensive than the other ones. But... Still so impressive. I had to get that. Uh, I guess uh, for pre-order now, they have like the uh, Super Boo or whatever with the muscles and all that. Like, But but uh, this one really impressed me the most. So anyway, Majin Boo figure arts. Can't go wrong with that. Um, we'll do another Ranger thing. We'll get it out of the way. And it's another, I know there's a, another Funko thing here. I know everyone's going to say, I'm pissed. I hate you. You suck. Fuck you. You know, whatever. Standard stuff. I understand. I accept it. But, again, this to me doesn't look like another normal ass. Like, these are ugly ass Funko Pops. I hate the people with the dead eyes. But they did fucking pumpkin wrapper. You think I'm not going to get the pumpkin wrapper? I mean, are, are you are you insane right now? Look at that. Uh, this is a, a GameStop exclusive. Which, shout out to GameStop, really handled it well. Um, they had these on the website. You could just order them. So it's like, okay, cool. Don't have to hunt for it. Ordered it. Uh, they came out in stores. Pre-order sat on the website, unshipped. You could click around on the website and order it brand new and it would ship that day. But the pre-order just sat. Meanwhile, there were walls of these just in their stores. So I uh, just canceled my pre-order and went and bought it there. Great pre-order system, GameStop. Really great establishment. It'd be around a long time. Uh, anyway, Pumpkin Wrapper, one of my favorite monsters, maybe my favorite monster in Power Rangers. Welcome to my pumpkin patch. Perhaps you'd like to play some catch. He'll distract you with his clever raps and rhymes. That's the name of of the game with the pumpkin wrapper. One of my favorite monsters ever. He would just rap. Be the first kid on your block to feel the mega pumpkin shock. Okay, um, what else do we have? All right, this next thing, you're gonna be jealous. Let me tell you right now, you're gonna be jealous. And I don't wanna create a rivalry, but you know, you gotta learn to you know that there are different, you know, some people have different opportunities in this world and some people just are born to be just so lucky they have things like this. And so I'm going to show it, but you know, let's, let's deal with our jealousy in an effective way and not name call and not be mad and not resort to anger. I got that Admiral Piet. I know there's a lot of Piet heads out there. You're watching this video and you're like, that's not fair. Why do you get Admiral Piet and I don't? But let me tell you, I've been a Piet nut since Return of the Jedi in the 80s. Um, you know, uh, I used to do Piet impressions as a kid. I'd be like, it's an older code, sir, but it checks out. You know, I was really, you know, as a kid, I just knew. I just picked it up, you know. Um, but Admiral Piet, just one of the, if not the best character in Star Wars history. Unfortunately, you know, it is an exclusive. I don't know what it's exclusive to. 
I saw it on about a hundred different websites and they all said exclusive. So, um, I think maybe we're just using the word ex exclusive whenever we want now. Uh, it doesn't really matter. But anyway, uh, Admiral Piet, they are doing Black Series. This, this is a Star Wars Black Series figure. They're doing a lot better with the likenesses now. Like, the like the faces are actually pretty damn good. Um, they just did a Moff Tarkin. I have it somewhere. I think I showed it on here before, but they did an amazing job. They really did. It's very, very cool. But anyway, Admiral Piet. You know, I'm sorry if you're jealous. I know all you Piet heads that couldn't get one. You're probably very sad right now. But you know what? That, you know, early bird catches the worm. Or in this case, the Admiral. Okay. Um, what's next? Okay, this is a very rare thing. And I thought, uh, well, not a rare thing in, in the sense that you can't find them. Rare in the sense that you never see stuff from this game series. And the fact that there are figures coming out for it now <clears throat> is blowing my mind because I played the shit out of this game in high school and I loved it and I never thought there would be like really well-made figures for it. But Square really went above and beyond. Uh, they've got a new series where they're kind of like figure arts. They're not like $170 giant figures like play arts uh, have become. They're uh, Bring Arts, which I don't know why they're called that. It's a it's a new series called Bring Arts. But anyway, they are now making figures for Xenogears. Oh my god, Xenogears. This was uh, one of my favorite RPGs in high school. I played it over and over and over. Uh, this character is the main dude, Fei Fong Wong. Um, and uh, uh, this whole game was about like piloting mechs and going into this weird quasi-religious, uh, bizarre sci-fi experience. I don't know how to... You tell me how to describe the game, because, man, I beats me. But, um, anyway, the fact that we're getting really nice, posable figures and just really high-quality shit is amazing. Xenogears. I mean, I never would have thought in 2018 we'd be getting these Xenogears figures. Ellie is another uh, main character in the game. She's coming uh, later this year, I think. And I I think so is his, uh, his mech. Well tall is that the name of it? I, yeah, I, it's been a long time. We shouldn't have left you without a dope beat to step two, step two, step two. Freaky, freaky. That's from the Zero Gear soundtrack. All right. Um, okay, so this is another thing from Japan that I thought was cool because you never see it. Okay, so it's a figure for the dark. Well, let's start with this. Let's actually backtrack a little bit. Uh, Mathex, a, a series in Japan, has been making killer. Dark Knight Trilogy figures. Now, you always get Batman, and you always get the Joker, okay, blah, blah. But you never, you don't see Harvey Dent, Harvey, you know, Harvey Two-Face. You never see him that much. From the movies, that is, you know. And there he is with the, with his button. There he is with the coin, you know, all that stuff. Um, I don't see this version too often, especially like a really nice, posable Japanese version. So that's cool. Okay, I picked that up. Great. But what I thought was really cool is that they did the Joker, but it's not the standard Heath Ledger Joker. It's him in the police outfit with no makeup from the parade. Do you remember when he takes a shot at Commissioner Gordon? It's uh, it's that version of it, which you never see. You never see a figure of that. And what's cool is you can actually take his jacket off, switch his arms and his head, and he becomes, this figure can become the Joker for, uh, when he goes to prison. Or uh, when he's being held in the cell, uh, you know, and they're like, there's no tags on his clothes, no name tag, no fingerprints, whatever. Um, so I thought that was super dope. I thought that was so cool. And I love the touch that they vandalized the box, too. If you notice that, uh, you know, they uh, tagged it with ha, 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 me, 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 and then they drew on Batman's face. So that was a great attention to detail. I almost don't want to take it out of the box, but... I probably will. Okay, last but not least, uh, I think this is like one of the cutest, cutest things I've ever just bought. Is they did Nendoroid Guardian, which is Nendoroids are little cute, super deformed versions of characters. I'm sorry, but I love that they did the Guardian from Breath of the Wild. This is too cute, and I'm gonna actually open it on here. Um, 
Yeah, Nendoroid's been killing it lately. I, I thought I had other ones somewhere. Did I already show the BB-8 one? Yeah, I probably did, but, you know, they it, all they really did was just make his eye bigger, but just that. Oh, my gosh, it's adorable. So, anyway, let's take this out. And uh, you can see for yourself, like, it, it, it's just like a stubby little cute version of the Guardian. And um, I love it. You know, Breath of the Wild, one of my favorite games ever. So anything with that is going to just slay me. Oh my gosh, they, they wrapped it in so much plastic. She's dead, wrapped in plastic. Guess the, guess the show. Okay. Man, knocked it out of the park on this, dude. Look at that, they did a great job. And these are all, wow, these are all posable. Every one of these little arms is posable. And it's not like wire, like a bendable wire thing. It's the, like each joint you know, can be moved. That's so cool. Wow. I love that. This is my favorite thing I got uh, in the past month. Dude, they, I mean, they even painted the underside. See, American toy companies would skip the underside. They'd be like, no one's going to look at that. Oh, no one cares. I care. I care. Um, my favorite thing here, though, is it in here? Okay, where is it? Uh, yeah, this is my favorite detail. This is so brilliant. And you tell, I mean, here. It actually comes with, how do you get this off? Okay. Uh, this background to put behind the figure. <laughs> and it's like translucent. That is so cool. It's still in the bag. I'm gonna leave it in there. But yeah, uh, game over screen for the uh, background. That's so funny. Oh my gosh. That's adorable. Anyway, I'm swooning here. I, I don't want to swoon too much, you know, for fear of over swoonage. Anyway, um, thank you everybody for watching this figure update. I'm sorry it was overdue, but you know, sometimes you gotta, you have to fight to get back on the horse, but once you're on there, you're galloping. Woo! I don't know what that meant, but anyway, uh, thanks for watching another, uh, figure update. Uh, some very good stuff on the way, I think. Um, again, because Bandai lost the Power Rangers thing, there, there's not that much more Ranger stuff coming this year, and it breaks my heart, because usually by this point, I have some crazy-ass morphers to show you, or I do, like, a cool morph to end the video. Now I don't know what to end the video with. Um. This is my underwear drawer, I can just show you that. And where are these boxers? I wore, the, I wore these socks before. Country Bears. <laughs>